at his notes. He's got so many good He's notes. He's got notes. He's got great notes. This man notes. studies. I hope he studies this well in school. Do you think he does? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to ask him I don't think later. so. I don't, I don't think he's a school kind of guy. I mean, what do you need? You need Smash. You need that. I mean, that's all you he's need. He's got his notes, you know. Dyer currently, uh, as the PGR just got released, Dyer uh, reigns there at 37. Right. Yeah. No matter how, uh, no matter how important or accurate you think the PGR is, like, I think it's pretty easy to say that Dyer is a force to be reckoned with, no matter what. Oh, absolutely. And, yeah. Um, no matter what number is there under his name, he's like the pioneer of the Diddy Ditto, um, and he also has a really, really good chic. Uh, he's super, super good. So we're going to see Corrin. I did not know what we were going to see from him to kill Sage because last I checked, you know, I saw him at Faustings last year and he was playing Fox and Sheik. So this is going to be actually dire on the Sheiker. And as you said before, Sheik and Dittos is pretty good if you have a teammate to work it with. And I think uh, actually Corrin is a decent teammate to work with I here. definitely agree. Uh, a lot of kill power and great aerials, great spacing. Uh, great especially against setups. Sheik. Yep, as well. Yep. Uh, she can kind of sit there and... Um, and wait and be threatening. And right. she could sit there in neutral, kind of like Marth, right? Because of the spacing. Uh, in, it's not easy to get through. So if your teammate is on the other side and there's a 1v1 happening and your teammate is losing that 1v1, there's a solid chance that if Corrin just stands there, you will not be able to get through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because that range and uh, the speed in which that like comes out and which you can react, or he, Whichever corn you're playing, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to people that use male corn. Yeah, the one person in the world that uses male corn is uh, anonymous. Yeah, moniker. moniker. <laughs> Shout out to moniker. Ooh, ooh, that frame one thunder not gonna be enough to take it, but goes for oh, that mega snipe. hands. Nothing doing though with that. And uh, Pikachu also super good in doubles if you go for the, uh, you know, the gimps and the back airs off stage. Right. Nice! That was awesome. Yeah, that's going to be death, and that's going to be... Oh my goodness! What a turn of events! Gross. Oh my goodness! This man. They call him, they call him Tack Pack. They call him Tack Pack. It stands for Tactical Bacon, if you guys did not know that. That's, his, uh, <laughs> that's what it used to be. The back throw. And Bowser, man. So now you think it'd be five so hard in doubles. To four. Well, I mean, I, I, heavies are just so good in doubles, just in they general. They are until they get hit. And then right. it's like, how do I land? There's two people on stage uh, trying to kill me. Uh, yeah, I think. Oh, nice pin. man. Uh oh. All right, he had to jump. And yeah, Sheik definitely uh, going to be looking to take care of Bowser, uh, especially off stage. And uh, Tapback not not committing to too much on stage, which is really smart. I don't know if you saw that. He just got hit by the grenade, and that was dirty. I can't say that was planned because <laughs> I'm sure it was like maybe a miss or something. Like Bob Ross, or maybe it's a he heavy planned accident. it. Yeah, it's either way. Oh man, that nice. up out of shield, such it's a good so option good. for Bowser. And you know, a lot of times it's his only option, <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be mad when it's a good one. But, you know, you got to give the villain something. Ooh, nice F smash. Not going to kill yet. Oh, my goodness. The kill stage just Gross. getting oh. in. Oh! Waits for that claw. Uh, props. It's hard to wait for that if you don't know, you know, if it sneaks up on you. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Such good team combo and awareness there. I Dyer doing nothing to break Ooh, it up. Needles actually could have nice. saved him there. Yep. He gets that up smash. Um, Dyer, a very, very patient player. Um, and he's he's part of the school of, ooh, unfortunate SC there. Yeah, <laughs> to kill Sage, Dyer going to take it. I was going to say Dyer, he's a, he's a student of, uh, why would I ever do a move if, if it would, like, if there's a risk of me getting hit? Like, I just need to play right. patient. Play patient. And that's so good in singles. And, but in doubles, that can hurt you a little if you're not, you know, with your teammate on that. Yeah. And he's doing a really good job of playing uh, assertively. Yeah. Where he's being assertive with his pressure, but he's not playing passive. 
and he's still playing very, very safe. So we're going along here. Dyer sending out a quick tweet. So moving right along, going into game two here. Game one belonging to Dyer and to Killsage. Tack back. Uh, need, attack back and uh, his partner need to come up with some huge stuff here if they want to make a comeback. Hon yeah, they honestly are not far behind. They are. not um, And we're going to see some Fox coming out. I don't know what to think about this team. I hear so many mixed opinions about Fox and doubles from people. And then I see right. Larry playing doubles and it's great. And then <laughs> I don't know. Do these characters complement each other? Probably. Uh, at some point, does it matter if you're good enough? Uh, that, that's another thought I had. You know, if this is your comfort pick and you're just so good with the character, I mean, it, it can't be a bad pick, you no, know? it can't. Fox kind of reminds me of fighting game characters, too. Yeah. Which makes sense because he plays Skullgirls, so. Ooh, that up B. Oh, man, a big old F smash going to be not enough to kill just yet. Oh, wow. There is a whole lot of stuff happening off this stage. Bowser going deep. That was impressive. Oh, man. Yeah. That was some really good team play there. Dyer just holding him in his clutches. And uh, to kill Sage just running up and getting a big old up smash. This is Bowser, though. Pikachu is uh, sitting at healthy percents right now. Bowser, not so much. He's taking the damage quick. Oh, my goodness. He reads where that up B is going to go and just hits him with a up smash. Dyer looking like a Mario player over here with all these up smashes. And then the SC. Red team is... Uh, this is rough. This is going to be a rough one. That command grab coming in clutch, almost getting the kill. Oh, oh man, this no. is dangerous. No tech zone, and that is going to be the stock. The concert guru doing a great job of killing his teammate. Hey, he did something well. <laughs> he got the game. That's all <laughs> I wanted. <laughs> he, he, I mean, he did it. That was a great kill. Hard situation for Bowser to uh, edge grab. I'm kind of surprised Tack Back was going for that. So we are five stocks to two here. Dyer in the kill stage looking to take this one with a clean little wrap up there. Oh. That was actually some good waiting uh, on the concert guru there, waiting for attack back to come and potentially pick up a throw. Right. I like the patience. The conditions just weren't right. I think uh, Bowser's getting very, very overwhelmed with the fast uh, characters. Nice down B. You should go for that at least once a set, I think, if you're playing Bowser, just to mix it up. And if it hits, yeah, right. you either kill them or break their shield. So. Did the Concert Guru oh. just try to quick attack up there? Oh, no. Oh, no. Gotta oh, be barely careful. making it back with the Magna Hands, but it doesn't matter. Five stocks to one. Oh, no. <laughs> not giving up, though. The Needle's not interrupting that F throw. You know, it's always interesting when you get into a 2v1 situation, especially if you have players that don't team very often. Right. Because there's always that like moment of communication where they're thinking, you know, you go in, no, I go in, no, we wait, no, what do we do? Right. Uh, it's a little frantic, but they handled it well. Solid five stock. That <laughs> a five stock is something to behold in a doubles match. It's yeah. not something you ever want to have happen to you, but Dyer into Kill Sage making it look easy here. Uh, not quite familiar with how many times these two have teamed, but they're making it look good. They do make it look good. I don't think they've ever teamed before, to be completely honest. Well, I mean, yeah, they're on opposite ends of the world, practically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they are. I'm sure that I'm sure they've met online, and I'm sure they've met oh, before. But yeah, yeah I, sure I, this met. might be their first time teaming. Teaming.